good day folks this is sigish here this video i will walk you through the process of enabling kerberos using ips server and uh, here i am using uh, the cluster hortonworks data platform http 2.6.3 version and backend operating system in uh, centos 6.4 so this is my cluster and uh, i have installed the identity manager ips server in one of the system so i have total uh, four nodes so three for uh, hadoop and uh, one for this ipa so for enabling kerberos so we need to uh, okay so first uh, let's check uh, enable this kerberos enable then enable kerberos proceed anyway but here you can see mit active directory and uh, this manual but you cannot see one for free ipa server so for that so what we have to do here is just ambari experimental so okay so we'll open this ambari's experimental functionality and uh, use this option enable ipa then save this now go back to this kerberos then enable kerberos you can see this option existing ipa option so select this and uh, here uh, some prerequisites are there so you need to ch make these changes across krb5.conf file okay so this few steps we need to do so jc then uh, krb5 then uh, all cluster host dns etc so these are all done so i'm adding this in krb5.conf open etc krb5.conf so we still let's check is there anything already exist with this name no, okay fine then I do it across other machines So master did a node one and node two slash etc krp file dot conf do it here then uh, do the same on node two also right. So save these changes and uh, okay, then continue. Then uh, here the KDC host, ream name, and uh, kadmin host. So this is the host where I installed IPS server. Get this host name. So KDC host and kadmin host. The ream name is the one which I gave when uh, when I did uh, IPS server setup and domain name is hadoop.com and admin principle is okay so let me yeah this is okay so let me create a, a one new principle for this one okay so for that so what I need is just to do k init admin at hadoop.com use the password for this admin user and uh, do these steps to create a new user okay so this ipa command so we need uh, this ipa command to be installed on master machine and but this is already installed uh, in uh, ipa server so we'll check which package that provide IPA server. M path provides okay. 
okay so this is the tool uh, that provide ipa admin tools so you need to install that yum if i install okay so we have installed that tool then now i will add that user by using this one so now if i check here and the refresh i can see that user is created here so now i'll be adding that user to this group that it done and uh, next i'm setting the password for that user so we'll give some initial password right so next step so next i need to create a group ambari managed principal if you have not created this group so you will get an error message during this kerberos wizard like so this group does not exist so better create that group right so description i will write this group name itself right that group has created so now if i check that group and uh, yeah ambari manage principle so this is the group here created so just do k destroy and uh, then k in it with uh, this hadoop admin at so why i'm doing this because this password it will ask you to reset the password right so now if i do k list so i can see k in it is with this potential so just get that principle and uh, use that principle here so this is the principle and uh, the password right so that's it about the configuration setup so kdc host k admin host ream name and domain name and the admin uh, principal and password so admin should be able to create the uh, other users and principals because here admin is uh, uh, hadoop admin which is already added to the admin groups so do the next so this is installing the, some of the client tools then it will have to test this is working or connectivity everything so you can see in details what is happening so go to each and every node and checking whether this user is able to create uh, this uh, principles and uh, those things so basically uh, whatever the things we are going to do uh will check at this step and uh, so make sure this is all uh, working fine so th this is just a test phase so this test is completed then next so the configuration so the hot and works keeps uh, i mean ambari keeps the most of them as a decent default so this is the directory where we keep all these key tab files and uh, the other uh, naming convention and everything so select the default then next so this day so it will have to stop all the services in the cluster i mean hdfs yarn so keeper whatever the services we have installed so we'll have to stop all the services from all the nodes so once it is stopped then only enabling this kerberos wizard will actually starts i mean uh, during up at that stage i mean after stopping the service then it will create the principles for the users or services and then create the key tab the so copy the key tab into this location then start the service so this is stop then the next so here uh, the kerberos wizard 
okay this is preparing operation then creating principle creating the key tab then uh, configuration then getting the key tab then updating the configuration and finalizing so this is actually doing that uh, Kerberosing uh, wizard the core part is uh, this way this one so now uh, the key, uh, principles and key tabs are created so if you just uh, refresh here so services go to the services tab you can see it is created all the uh, services for I mean uh, pre service principles for each services I mean activity explorer the data node then a name node then uh, name. Uh, so whatever the components available so it has created the service account so those service account you can see here and uh, that's it so uh, completed so it has the create it created the key tab and uh, you can uh, go to some directories like uh, etc security key tabs and you can see these key tabs so these are all the key tabs created from this ips server then next so this is the last step so after enabling the kerberos it's starting the services so at this stage i mean during at before enabling this kerberos all the services were without this kerberos entry but at this stage the services are starting with the kerberos so it has created all the principles then uh, downloaded the key tabs and then that key tab it stored in some location and uh, Ambari has changed the configuration of each and every services to point to this key tab file. So the starting of services fail uh, due to some reason and uh, we can just uh, retry that uh, for some time. So or else we have to uh, troubleshoot that and uh, get that actual cause okay, so I just did a retry still uh, it's not working so let me complete this and try to uh, troubleshoot that okay so this is done then go to the dashboard so zookeeper is started then uh, we'll try to start uh, I mean try to restart these uh, services manually one by one so I can see the name node and uh, secondary name node is started here okay so let me refresh that okay so here it's showing started yarn okay your so hdfs is up then i'll have to restart this yarn service manually okay so i just uh, restarted uh, the yarn then uh, restart this map reduce service so that I turn out so starting has failed then um, by the uh, grafana has stopped then restart smart sense then restart the smart sense always also okay so we'll have to wait some time uh, till uh, this uh, all the services are up and running so yarn again the resource manager has stopped we'll start here and see
so i manually uh, started the services and uh, uh, looks everything is okay uh, so all the services are started now okay so that's it about uh, kerberos so here i used uh, ips server sorry, ips server and uh, hortonworks 2.6.3 and uh, centos 6.4 uh, that's it uh, so please uh, use the comment box uh, if you have any questions also subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed so i will be uploading more topics over time thank you bye